you have made it through. So all you have now is to basically do any last minute adjustments that you may wish to do. So I can see, um, I don't really like all this extra space. So I'm just gonna use C for crop and I'm just gonna crop this out just a little bit. I'm gonna make this more of a square item so it'll look a little bit better. Suitable for printing. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in. I can go back into any of my items. Like if I, if this was going to print, I would definitely fix this shadow across the bottom. Maybe do a little tweaking, uh, move it around some. I mean, there are a lot of little things that, that could be addressed on here. Um, but the beauty is, is that we did it all non-destructively. And by doing it non-destructively, we can go back in and make those changes quickly and easily without having to recreate this huge file again. So some of the concepts that you have learned in here are really advanced concepts, masking, blending, um, using blend modes, using um, multiple combinations of these things together. Uh, this is really, this is really a difficult item. Um, but I have had students of all ages complete this and Anybody can do it. All you have to do is just keep practicing. Um, don't be afraid to try. Reach out and try new tutorials. You can do this. But I am so happy that you made it to the end of this. At this point, this is where I would have my students, uh, the students would have to submit their final file either as a PSD so that I can go through and check all of, of, the, uh, all of the layers or sometimes if I'm just feeling nice, we would just do it as a JPEG. But by the time your students get through this particular project, they will have a very good understanding of masking and uh, blending modes, if anything, just by doing practice over and over again. So I hope that you liked this tutorial. If you did, please let me know. If you decide to try it, if you would post it and let me know, um, you can tag me on Twitter, you can, send me an email. I would love to see you be successful with this. So thank you so much for photoshopping with me. Until next time.